hello guys today in this video i'm gonna make you learn how to make a simple calculator that can perform addition subtraction and multiplication by using the large circuits as well so this is the circuit for the calculator i have used i will let you one by one know the how this circuit is working first uh, let me show you how does it uh, providing you the inputs when i apply three and then click one it is used for storing the values and then two and then again storing the value in B pressing addition you will see that adder is performing addition then pressing the subtraction 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 and then multiplication 3 into 2 6 so this is the uh, circuit basically it is based on the latch circuit that stores the value or hold the value at the output when the input is applied to them and at the same time a clock is applied clock is uh, generally the up and down of the DC DC waveform or whatever you say means that it is uh, going from 0 to 1 and again 1 to 0 so this is the uh, clock that stores the value from input to the output all these 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 latches are similar here you will see that 40174 is the IC number for this one and these are the delay circuits that uses the set and reset as the input and in turns give you the output Q. This is the uh, unnecessary output that I have not used because this is Q0. So I just need this one. So I will sh show you how does it working. Generally, it this is an IC for 74 LS283 that performs the addition with the addition of this circuit that I have used here sorry this is performing subtraction so here are the exclusive OR gates attached one terminal is common for the exclusive OR gate and then one is applied at here same process is repeated with addition but here the zero terminal will be zero a logic state will be applied these are the four inputs that will be taken from the four bit numbers that are inserted by the binary coded digits and then the output will be appeared here sorry that's a mistake so the output will be appeared here that will go towards the B section of this IC and the A section of this IC is directly connected with the enabler here you will see that enabler is generally the combination of the AND gates AND gates uh, is generally the multiplier whatever you say means that if I multiply 1 with 0 is equals to 1 and 0 with 1 is equals to 0 it will apply 1 only in the situation when both of the terminals are at one logic state so here is the uh, enabler if I apply 1 here then all the inputs that are applied here will be reached here without any change means that I am applying 1 0 1 0 1 0 then here will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 appeared only in the situation when I apply the 1 here means that it will enable all the inputs that will appear at the output so you have again minimized instead of going towards the parent sheet here you will see that this is an enabler that I fabricated in this IC so these are the LED circuits that works on the principle when the clock is applied to them here I am uh, inserting the inputs from the keypad and then the IC is attached to this keypad for example if I insert if I press 3 the value 0011 in binary is 3 so 0011 will be appeared here actually this is not providing us the uh, value that we need because uh, uh, this IC is converting this input to this one so here 0, 0100 0, 0 is appearing here whose actual value is 4 so in order to need the binary coded digits we will uh, make the Karnow map through the table that I have made here because when I am going to apply 0, 0, 0 whose value is 0, 0, 0, 0 then at this IC 1111 1, 1 is appearing so 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1111 1, 1. so again comparing this all the inputs and the outputs here you will see that 0 1 0 0 by pressing 2 here the 2 is 0 0 1 0 so that 0 0 1 0 is appearing here you will see that so now let's move on to the Karnow maps for these circuits these are the min times sorry these are the 
turns that should be neglected these are called as the don't cares that i have uh, denoted by x and the general uh, equation for the Carnot map is as follow same as the process repeated with other Carnot maps in which you have to insert the inputs for w means that if for example if you are inserting the value of x you will compare both these inputs means that it is 1 1 and 1 1 means that it is equals to 0 here is 1 1 and 1 1 so this column is of value 1 1 1 1 so here is 0 so you have to proceed uh, repeat the same process with all these for equations so I have used and implemented all these equations in this IC here you will see that go to the child sheet you will see that I am applying the uh, four inputs from the output of that IC that I have connected with the keypad and then the binary coded digits will be given to me as follow and then again exiting to the parent sheet these are the binary coded inputs that are applied to the all these ICs these ICs actually are attached in parallel with each other this circuit is quite uh, complicated but I will let you know all these ICs are attached with parallel in parallel with each other means that if I apply the input at this IC A so here you will see that I have uh, I have pressed the 3 button means that 0011 will be appeared at each respective IC that I have applied here 0011 here the 0011 is appeared here but if I apply the 3 at the 5 at the second IC let's pause so here the 0101 and 0101 and 0101 will be appeared at the second IC that is working as the B part of this operation number three these three ICs are similar to each other because these are working as the enabler and this one wire of enabler will work as the enabler so let's dig into it you will see that the end gates are appearing here the inputs will be applied will be appeared only if this enabler is at one logic state so here is the second enabler I will show you from the internal circuitry that what's working so here is also the combination of eight and gates that are attached that are means that it is taking the four bit inputs from here and the second four bit input that is working as a B here and then giving the output when the enabler is on when the enabler is off means that these values are not reaching the output and the 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 is appearing here so uh, exiting to the parent sheet I will let you this enabler circuit this is also the combination of AND gates. As I've discussed earlier, this is working as an adder circuit, but the zero logic state is applied at this terminal. Here you will see that the one terminal of exclusive OR gate is attached with the logic zero probe. So this is working as an AND circuit that I've already explained in my previous video. You will see so this is an adder this is a multiplier IC multiplier IC number is 742085 and uh, one thing that uh, you should keep in mind that these uh, LEDs are connected always opposite to the desired output means that S0, S1, S2, S3 will be started from here from right to left so uh, coming towards the enablers how the enablers are activated or deactivated so come towards the understanding the analogy of keypad so if I'm going to apply the zero at the logic state uh, uh, so if I'm going to apply the plus here you will see that zero and zero will be appeared here in general when you don't apply any situation all these are at one and these are all at one logic state when if I apply this uh, press this plus button only for and the D will be open similarly if I press the minus C and the 4 button will open means that all the operations here are performing will give every time the 0 at 4 but the C, D, B and A will be changed according to the pressing of button so this terminal 4 terminal will be red means that it will be at one logic state in all the situations so if I will go toward its child sheet this is an OR gate OR gate is generally the adder circuit means that here 
is the one one applied at this permanent one is applied at this but there are the temporary states means that it could be zero and it could be one and the node gates are attached at the output for example this is already one bit but if i applied here one this will be one one it is equals to one then it will give you the one and then it will become zero but if I apply the zero at here because uh, pressing every button will give you the zero logic state so the zero will be appeared here and the zero will also be appeared at here if you apply or if you press plus so the zero zero will be zero and then it will give you one but if I press minus this will be minus uh, sorry this will be zero and this will be one so sorry this will be also zero all the three remaining will be one so the zero is appeared here and the one will be given at the output terminal so uh, this is the operator that is working as the has the uh, as you can see here if i apply uh, this is this will be the uh, permanent zero when we press any of the button at that stage this will be zero so the zero 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 at all these one terminal of the or gate will be appeared but if i am going to uh, for example if i press plus then there will be zero and the zero will be appeared here and then the not gate of the zero will be one but all these terminals will be one so the one will be appeared at all the output of this and gets and in turn the not gate will be converted this all outputs will to zero so if i press one uh, plus this one will be activated all the three will be deactivated if i press minus then this two will be activated all the three will be deactivated if i press multiplication then three will be activated all the other one two and four will be deactivated this is the process that i've used for activation and deactivation for this so coming towards the point that if i press one this uh, plus this one will be deactivated and one terminal is directly connected with the set value of this d latch this D latch will set 1 and this will become 0 because the all the terminals are at 0 and the uh, 0 0 0 OR gate is equals to 0 0 so here is the 0 and here is the 1 so the 1 will be stored at the Q and the 0 will be stored at Q node so we will need only Q here so that this uh, uh, addition circuit will be activated if I am going to uh, use the subtraction then this uh, second terminal will be directly attached with this output set of the negative latch of this negative latch so uh, you will see that uh, the all the other remaining inputs will be zero so this value at the here will be stored one so this will go towards the enabler that will enable the subtraction multiplication or addition according to the button you press here you can see that if i applied plus you will see that this latch is for addition the addition is appearing here uh, means uh, sorry addition is not appearing but uh, the value of one is stored that will enable the addition circuit but if i apply multiplication or press the multiplication button you will see that all the other latches are deactivated but the only latch for multiplication is activated that will enable the output of the multiplication circuit so this is the work for today I hope that you will really enjoy this video and if you really enjoy this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel